Hey guys, can you hear me? All right, Tim, off in five. Am I on next? Sure, why not? <laughs> Tim, off. No gap at the back here. Shooter's closing it down though. Oh, did he? Maybe we should just play a game and say four people try to drop Diddy. I think we'll go faster that way. I think we still lose that game. <laughs> I don't know about that, guys. I'll go to four minutes. I can go four to four thirty pounds, <laughs> forty. Who is that? Oh, shooter. Shooter. Oh. Shooter, not in this Discord. Well, trust me. Sometimes you don't want him on Discord. He has a good taste, good music taste going on sometimes. Just to. It depends on your mood. Okay. We're all going off. I think that makes it my turn. I think the game only gets interesting if it's drop Diddy after we force him to take a 10 minute pull. <laughs> oh, it's steering enabled for TTT. Yeah, I can't yeah. be. <laughs> I think it is, yeah. It is. I'll go till 6.30, Tim. CC! You mean 16.30? <laughs> Only for you. If I could drop after that, I'd think about it. I feel like um, steering could be interesting if the front person steers one click, one direction. You know what I mean? And then series back in the draft at the back of the line. That'd be interesting. Yeah, that, that would be interesting. I feel like there's a little bit. All right, of... I got. I'll go to seven thirty. Seven thirty. That's not real hard. Yeah. Keep it steady on the farm. But yeah, I was saying. Uh, I think there's a little bit of a slowing effect, unless the uh, the front person goes to zero watts. And the person behind gets a little bit of a sticky. 
that I think Syrian can fix. All right, I'm coming off here in about, I don't know, five seconds or so. Yeah. And I'll steer out of the draft here. There you go. Advanced moves. Yeah, that is kind of a cool way to use See, I don't use my steering very much, but that's a cool way to use it. It makes sense, right? <laughs> That combination of steering with race mode, I feel like would make an ideal TTT experience. Fine by talking. Oh. I'll go to 8.30 here tomorrow. Oh, we're stretching out back here. Easing up a little. <laughs> Off in five seconds, huh? So about nine thirty. Often three, two, one. Sorry, guys. Go ahead, D. Come around me. You're good, buddy. Wait a second. Is there a hill on this course? <laughs> Some would say. Nobody I don't know, it's foggy on my screen. I can't see a hill, so okay. we're fine. Yeah, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Can we go up the reverse? No. Uh, I'll be honest, dude, I didn't even look at the course. Magnificent. Oh, you didn't do the course. <laughs> yeah, I didn't study the course ahead of time. Let me see here. You didn't read the you didn't read the notes ahead of time? Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> am I am I supposed to blitz here or is this a uh <laughs> a minimum What's of John's eight, line. Sorry. Minimum of eight watts per kilo for the first three minutes and thirty seconds to get out of the pins. Yeah. Make sure I'm, I'm way up there. Back. Fuck that. All right, I'm easing up. Let somebody else pull it up. All right, I got it. I got it. Yeah, we go. We go up the reverse, and that's our only climb. <laughs> All right, I'll pace us up to the top of the little first rise here. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, easy, easy. Yeah, yeah, I'm driving back. Bring it up, bring it up. Alright, I gotta go take it back on. Huh? <laughs> 
Easy, All right, here we come. Oh, a little hook, guys. A little hook. Yeah, yeah. Ease up just a bit. Yeah, yeah. My avatar doesn't seem so arrow when I look at him. <laughs> Look, looks fine on my screen, guy. should be a little closer together you know <laughs> yeah yeah really i think my stem needs to be up a little higher yeah. all right all in all right I haven't seen you guys in a while. Is everyone just playing ladders primarily, or are these? Well, here's the deal. It was the summer of COVID. All right, Diddy, you want to take it? Sure. Nice downhill section. I'll take that all day. Oh, look at you swinging out with your steering. <laughs> Jeez. Guy. All right, got it. Let's see if we can get back in the draft. <laughs> I think you might be onto something, though, Z. Yeah, hey, I didn't start a YouTube channel for nothing. <laughs> oh, now I got to subscribe to that thing. There you go. You still streaming on Twitch, Diddy? I mean, if I ever had time to race, I would. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, I haven't done any ZRL. I've done like a handful of ladder races. <clears throat> I've, been, I've been so busy, dude. It's crazy. This events. Yeah. Yeah, I should start to really free up this next nine months, hopefully. It's Maybe before my goal used to be making a cat. Now my new goal will be trying to be a true B cat. What is going on with the steering? Oh my god! Yeah, you're all over the place, buddy. Hi, baby. I feel like the Swift steering is so finicky. Maybe it's just a game update, but I feel like there's fewer lanes. If that makes sense. Yeah. Your, your avatar's all over the damn place, I can tell you that. Uh, agreed. I could be auto-steer, too. 
I tend to go all over the place when Diddy's pulling and I'm just about dying. So. <laughs> Lies. It's a pretty, pretty real life uh, visualization. Oh, Diddy's there. going pretty. Diddy's going pretty easy on us. Yeah, Diddy's behaving himself. I don't know what came into him. And and thank you for that. I'm feeling. I'm feeling I got thirty mildly. more. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. Thirty thirty kilometers more. <laughs> he, he has a TTT we don't know about after. He said I can't he get my fan to turn on. I'm freaking dying over here. He said he's uh, busy with events, eh? Other TTT events. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm feeling a mild dizziness. I'm back it down, buddy. You all right? Yeah. All right. So I did a CT club right before this. That's probably the problem. <laughs> so. Whose fault is that, guy? I won't be much help other than grass support. Needless to say. All right, coming off here. Nice work, Tim. We go to 20. <laughs> I'm going to have to skip. Are you next one? Sorry, I'll take another. It's fine. up just a little bit, get everybody in. All right, nice. We'll go to 22. Roger, Roger. Oh, you, Tim. All right, go to twenty three. Mm. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're steering? <laughs> yeah. I need to keep my hands off the steerer. <laughs> Watching your ass pinball around on my screen. <laughs> I'll slide in the third wheel here. Carl, you got you got an next pull? Yeah, I'll take 23 to 2330. That sounds good. <laughs> No power up. All right, coming up. Well, Set XP. Come on, that's all you needed. Also, I think whoever whoever is taking the next pull, just an observation, should probably steer one click to the other side, because your avatar wants to follow whoever's steering in front yeah. of you. Yeah. You have to like force it to stay in your lane. Yeah. And if you do that, then everyone behind you will do that, too. Oh, no. Two. Yep. Two. One. Nice pull, Z. So tough. Ease in a little. Swing it out, swing it out. Small gap. Yeah, I'm just gonna maintain right here so I can make on. Shoot it up just a little. <laughs> I can go at 27.
Hey, you mind holding that wheel for us? Thanks. Thank you, brother. We're all good, Tim. We're all on you. <clears throat> Right or up. Oh, quite in now, did he? Ah. I'll take it at twenty nine. It's a conga line. Tim, you got 31? I got 31, yeah. So 31 to 32. Yep. <clears throat> All right, to 32. All right, all you, Shooter. I'm trying to grab you, buddy. Okay. 
I'm coming, Shooter. Sorry, buddy. I am less busy now. That's good. Nice. That's some hydration sugar. Jason set the climb just to keep everybody together. Yeah, sounds good. We'll come maybe, maybe you take over at the top. Go up about three seven. Stay right on, Carl. You're good. Here we go. Perfect. Nice efforts. Nice and tight. What on my sex tape? Hello. There he is. <laughs> Give me this. Go easy. Go easy. Here you go. Into the tunnel. I'll take over at the bottom of the ramp. Shooter can bomb the hill. <clears throat> Not the bottom of this ramp, the bottom of the ramp. Coming into the tunnel. Shooter can bomb that one too, though. That's great. On the speed. <clears throat> now, shooter avatar, Daryl. Yeah, totally. I got the mouse ears that, or the squirrel ears, that kind of break up the turbulence. So, <laughs> I don't think those are UCI legal, though. It's like a Formula One race car there. They have those squirrelier things over the derailers now. Yeah. There you go, shooter. Good speed. <laughs> All right, I'll go to uh, 38. Oh, good, I got 38. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Thirty nine. Sounds good, buddy. Real nice pull, Z. Real nice pull. And take us up the hill. Yep. All four here. Yeah. All right, somebody go through. He's on it. Guys, nice show. There you go, guys. Good work. Nice. Huh. <clears throat> that team in front of us is smoking. <clears throat> well, it's a good thing we started behind them, then. <laughs>
There we go. <sighs> <clears throat> Not a good one. It's hard for the first 20 minutes. Of all time. time, dude. It's just so hard. Ah. <sighs> Thanks for taking it easy on me, guys. That was nice. Oh, it's fun. Only one person hey, sure, here that... Sure, you're, you're closing in on 300 of these, aren't you? I hope so. That's why I showed up, man. Nice. I think I saw, when I signed up, I think you were at 290. Really? Oh, awesome. shit. I better get back at it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, Wait, where, do you awesome, see, where do you see that? When uh, when you click into the race pass, it'll yeah. show you every everybody that signed up how many TTs they, TPTs they've got. Really? Shit! How have I never yep. seen that? Damn. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'll look for that next time. That's awesome. There's yeah. Well, I just click the link. I just click the link and I get the race pass. But then this time I actually like clicked on it to see who else has signed up. It's like, yeah. oh, the computer's at two ninety. First, of, first of all, that's, that's wild. Two ninety is insane. I've done like 400 overall yeah. races, so congrats on that. But secondly, I must remind you, there's only one person in the world who has done more TTTs than you. Yours truly. <laughs> say, say that again, Z. Who's the one person? <laughs> Your you're humble secretary, that's all. <clears throat> oh, oh no, no, no. He, he's done more? Are you sure? I mean, I'd have to imagine, no? He's done like a thousand no, no, no. races. No, he was like, no, dude. He was like 50 behind me when Alpha disbanded. For TTTs like or? Own... For TTTs, yeah. Oh, interesting. I thought, wow. that, I thought that's who you were going to say. I just didn't hear you. But, uh, but uh, yeah. no, he was like 40 or 50 behind me. Well, uh, he, even. Like, which, now, he's had a lot of time to catch up because I've missed a lot in the last couple months. Who did who does he ride with now? I think he rides with Coco. With dirt? Who? Well, with Coco. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or that's or, awesome. Hey, there's nothing wrong. Pizza. There's nothing maybe wrong with riding with with Coco because I'm doing that right now. <clears throat> yeah. She, Oh. Promise not to ditch him. Wow. Well, there's a lot of commentary there, like robot girlfriends, and I don't know. That's where. I, that's where. I'm I not going there. I'm not coming there. That's where I go. <laughs> that's where I go, man. That new Megan Fox movie about the robot wife <laughs> that becomes psycho, like. Ree, 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 ree. That's amazing. Hey, know. if it's if it's out of shooters. Range of comfort, that's probably saying a lot, so. Yes. <laughs> that's right, man. It takes a lot to make me cringe. <laughs> oh, man, this was, this was fun. You all done for next week? Hopefully. Hopefully they let me out of work. I will be out of town next week, but I would love to. <laughs> well, I'd love to say we miss you, but... You know, it's nice to also be back in Pratt Bay. <laughs> I, 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 missed, I missed you, Diddy, and I missed you too, Carl. I appreciate it's you, brother. It's great to see both of you, you guys as uh, shaved heads. I, I, don't have enough of those, I don't have enough of those in my life. <laughs> <laughs> those were fun, man. That was fun. I, I, I love writing with the, you know, doing these. Hey, yeah, nice. nice. This is you always look. Well, you always look like you didn't do anything after, though, did he? And I, I think I kind of resent you for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because, I, I, yeah, you guys are still riding. I was like, hell with it. I'm getting off. I'm tired. I, I've been working too much. They turn the, yeah, you know, turn the shooter's camera on, and there's a paramedic with the defibrillator paddles right there. And just watch it just in case. Amazing. Did he's not even breaking a sweat. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. I couldn't get my fan to work for like the first like 10k. I was like, oh god, oh god. Dude, when when someone rides, <laughs> when someone rides darn near three hours a day, 
And you take you take comments like I'm feeling lightheaded a little bit more seriously. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Doctor, for that. You feeling okay? You feeling okay? That was a yeah, I am. I am now. That's a very rare occurrence for me. I uh yeah. so I figured I should uh, I shouldn't keep it to myself. Given yeah. how rare that is. Yeah, so. Do you uh do you put salt in your water when you when you bike indoors? Oh my god, dude, you have no idea how much I consume <laughs> of like way more than just water, man. I got like I got uh what what did I have? I had an element. So, so in the TT cut race that I did, it finished 45 minutes before this one. Um, I had a. I had a, an element pa uh, hydration packet, uh, eight grams of creatine, um, collagen, um, fuck, I'm missing something. Oh, beta alanine. And then I in this one, I just, in this one, I just had biosteel and then more beta alanine because I was already at my do max dosage for the collagen and creatine for the day. Nice. <laughs> Oh, and I had a SIS gel for, I had one SIS gel for each one, each race. Those elements, uh, those elements, I think it's, what, 1,000 milligrams? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so much salt. <laughs> so much salt. I had the mango chili one, though, because I, I figured if I was doing two events in a, you know, back-to-back, -back, I kind of right. wanted something exciting more exciting in one of them Keep it spicy. and like change it up and the mango chili is pretty exciting as it's flavored synthetic <laughs> flavors go oh i i hate that flavor every other flavor is fine for me <laughs> of, of, you've tried all the elements Z? yeah 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 i i only really drink, oh. i only drink like half an element per per race oh. just because i don't uh yeah i i have well you're like half my size so <laughs> <laughs> have you ever uh, have you ever sweat tested yourself, Lorenz, by chance? I haven't sweat tested. No, I've done a bunch of other tests. I'm not sweat testing. Yeah. No, good, it, point. good point. I mean, I I understand the point you're making. That uh, you know, why over why uh, you know, why not why not give yourself the the you know some the precise amount. Yeah. No, I mean I mean a gram of salt for. You know, two, three hours of racing seems for sure the bare minimum, you know. So I think what you're doing sounds perfectly fine. Right. I've just always been curious because when I do drink a thousand milligrams of salt per hour, it's definitely too much for me. And I feel like my muscles start to like dehydrate <laughs> and I feel like I feel like I feel like garbage, but five hundred is probably on the lower end, so just like huh. anecdotally I feel like I probably sweat test at 600, 700 milligrams per hour, but I've always been curious. Well, hey, let me ask this. Um, you just, well, you're, what you just stated kind of brings me to this question. Um, is there evidence that, like, the more sodium you consume and then you do some intense exercise that causes, like, first... Does that, that, does that sodium travel to your muscles more quickly? And then second, would that cause you to, like, take water from whatever areas of your body that it's in, move it to your muscles instead of, like, say, your head, for instance, and oh. make you feel lightheaded? Yeah, that's a, that's, a, getting at? that's a super interesting thought. I think in reality, sodium is just a proxy for water. And your water compartments in your body equilibrate way faster than like sugar delivery to muscle probably so if okay. you were to if you were to consume you know a gram of sodium i would argue within like 10 to 15 minutes your body water compartments have all equilibrated and so ultimately you're either just too dehydrated intravascularly that means you've drank too much sodium or you're too uh overhydrated if you will and you're and you're too low on sodium right so ultimately the vast majority of sodium lives outside of your muscles lives outside of your blood vessels and lives inside the interstitial fluid right so ultimately 
You know, if you were to measure your, like, sodium, a normal amount would be 140. If you were to do a marathon and not drink water at all, you'd be dehydrated, which would show a high sodium. And if you were to drink too much free water, you'd have too low of a sodium. So ultimately, you just want to keep the right amount of water balanced in your body. And so I wouldn't really think of it in terms of uh, sodium delivery to muscles because ultimately sodium is just a proxy for water. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. So the, the, the take home message though, would be think of sodium like as a total body systemic, like it, it, it's, it's always gonna be like close to the same throughout the entire body. Should, is that kind of the take home? Exactly, because water freely moves with sodium. So, so sodium okay. is really just water, and uh, the water balance, you can imagine your entire body is made out of water, and you have a proportionate amount of sodium in your entire body. So drinking like a salt tablet actually has very minimal uh, additional effect in terms of adding sodium to your body, but what it does okay. is it shifts water into your blood vessels. Uh, you know, so ultimately it's really just adding to how much water you have in your blood vessels. And there is such a thing as too much, right? So- Sure. Yeah, so, yeah. I asked the marathoners about that. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, like- right. it, so there, the, last, the marathoners yeah. that, that, keep, that, that push water all the way through the race, cross the finish line, drink a liter of water, oh, and they drop over dead. Oh yeah, you'll die. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so so cyclists are less likely to do that because A, we sweat more, and B, we uh, we eat, right? And we take on carbs, and we take on electrolytes. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. so, eat much. so the way I would think, well, I think, the last thing I'll say about this, and I'll try to stop, yep. start, start making sense after, <laughs> but ultimately, huh? if you eat salt, pretend you're eating like a gram of salt, that salt goes through your GI system and gets absorbed straight into your blood vessels, right? Which is the, yep. which is the smallest component of water in your entire body. But what that does is it pulls water from all the other compartments into the blood vessels, right? Whereas the sweat also comes from your blood vessels, right? So ultimately all you're trying to do is keep the blood vessel water with the right amount of solute which you're losing mm -hmm. salt and water with sweat, so you ought to take salt and water uh, at the right amount when you're drinking fluids. Obviously, sugar is not actually an effective solute because the sugar leaves your blood vessels and goes straight to your muscles, right? So regardless of, you know, kind of companies marketing, isotonic solutions and whatnot, really the only tonicity that matters is your sodium to water content. And that ratio is mm -hmm. individual dependent. So some people can sweat up to 1,100 milligrams per hour of sodium in their water uh, on average yep. uh, per liter, right? And so uh, they'll have to take in about 1.1 milligrams of sodium with each liter of water that they drink. And they'll have to calculate how much water they're losing per hour, which is pretty easy to do because you can just weigh yourself, right? So that's usually how the triathletes kind of dial in exactly how much sodium to drink per hour along with their water. Okay. Cool. Damn, Z. Thanks for that. <laughs> Sorry. Good thing yeah. you pay attention in class. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. If I, you know I would say, <laughs> no, don't be sorry. I, I'm, um, I, I understood 75% of that. So I feel I think that's a win. Uh, I'll, the, I'll take that. I, th I think in my case today, I actually before my first first race I did, uh, I actually was like, oh shit, I have drank almost zero water today. Fuck, I better get some water. So like, that's probably play, played a role in feeling mildly dizzy uh, in the first like half of this one. Yeah, if you do an experiment and drink like two, three bottles of water before a race, you'll feel lightheaded for sure, right? Because you just don't have the right oh, balance in your body. Because I guzzled too much water right before one of those, the, the first, you know, the first of those races. It could be. And then didn't have, and didn't, and didn't have enough salt. 
Yeah, it could be. I mean, ultimately, you know, lightheadedness is multifactorial. It could be from a, a lot of different things. Chasing Diddy around, <laughs> watching me steer around the course. <laughs> or uh, the most common things, out of everything that you mentioned, I would say salt and sugar are probably the most uh, important to dial in as an athlete. And then creatine, yeah. for sure, is probably next in terms of supplements. Beta alanine probably yep. has some benefit. So you're right on, man. Sounds like you got your stuff dialed in. Yeah, I think I just didn't. I think it was just uh, uh, catching up. You know, the, yeah. the, the things I was consuming um, were, were late to the game. So that, if anything, I, I'd imagine it was that, that. And ultimately, you can never really keep up with all your variability, right? So, like, in the winter, you might sweat less salt than in the summer. Mm-hmm. And no, nobody yep. really keeps measuring their salt every, you know, I, I, at least we don't, right? So I'm sure the professional yeah. athletes do, but sometimes you just think yep. you have it dialed in and you, you don't feel great. And it's just oh, yeah. of, a lot of different things. So my, my, my sweat will be much saltier early in the summer. And as I acclimate, not oh, yeah. salt. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Mine, mine too. Mine too. That's a, a good point. Hey Tim, a um, bunch of a uh, bunch of Lotus people, I think, are going to do uh, like a 100k or 120k loop around like that includes Chuckanut, uh in uh, around Bellingham this weekend, like Chuckanut, Edison and stuff, and it's going to be Sunday, Sunday at 9 a.m. starting at Boundary Bay. Yeah, darn, darn. Well, I, I won't make it, but that sounds fun. I, yeah, I, I miss, think I, I miss the. Uh, Big uh, Bellingham century this summer. Oh, I know, dude. Yeah. Well, me too, but largely just because I couldn't get, I couldn't get my son's mom to agree to like childcare two weekends in a row because I did because Ben Tickton was yeah. only a week a week apart uh, from that. Oh. So, yeah, uh, I was I was coming off I was coming off COVID. I think I remember. Week, yeah. Dad, in the next week, my dad got COVID. Wow. Oh. Uh-oh. How How old is your dad? How old He's 86. Dad? Okay. Wow. He's 86, and uh, he stopped eating. He didn't eat for about 10 days. Jesus. And, uh, we thought it was, oh. yeah, yeah, we thought it was. So I ended up staying. I was in Minnesota for quite a while in August, which kind of killed August. Yeah. So, but, you know, ride when you can. Yep. Right. Yep. Get in when you can, well, for sure. How's your dad, how's your dad doing now? You know, uh, so he he sort of came back a little bit. So he's uh, he's hanging in there. Okay. Uh, just uh, see how he does. Mm-hmm. How many weeks okay. has it been? Oh, so I mean, you know, and, and the COVID, he actually got over. COVID never really affected him that much, except I mean, like he coughed and stuff, but it, it, that wasn't going to kill him. It was not eating. Uh, right. Yeah. And, and he has he has some degree of dementia. Mm. And, uh-huh. You know that the COVID combined with dementia is not really a not really a big combination. Wow. Yeah. But he's crazy, you know, man. Kind of hanging in there a little bit. Hey, man. Wish him the best. <clears throat> Hope he recovers. For sure. Yeah. yeah you know, all right. All things considered. That's good. Right. How's Charlie doing? Did, Did he, he recover hear? completely too? That that kid's an asshole. He <laughs> barely got sick. Ah. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, anyway, just cough, cough, cough. Oh, I'm dying. He's like, I, I, oh man, my nose is running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the damn jet. You know the uh, honestly, like COVID, he, he, COVID obviously becomes so much more mild. And I'm thankfully super healthy to up at this point. But I still sometimes I'm like, what if I get COVID and I'm not the same after like my VO two drops from like twenty to ten, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I didn't I didn't get I, I I was not very sick at all. I mean 20, I was you, sick you, for you, a couple you, of days. Did you say from twenty to ten? <laughs> I think I think Donald Trump's VO two is probably twenty <laughs> or 15. Let's say fifteen. Let's give him fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> it also makes me wonder about like all the other colds people get and it's like you just hear like people coughing for like 
six, seven weeks after from like the common cold. But thankfully our bodies are right. pretty resilient, it seems like. So and yeah, my, my VO two max along with my golf game is probably both worse than Donald Trump, so <laughs> mm. Oh that's 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 so sad. It is rough, man. Yeah, first, 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 at least, at least that's what writing with Diddy makes me feel like, so. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. I thought he was trying to make us feel good today. <laughs> thank thank, yeah. thank yeah. you for that. Thank you for that. <laughs> I thought he was trying to make us feel right, good about I'm gonna, himself. I'm going to grab some supper, guys. Great riding with y'all again. Yeah.